Yo, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by What's New Barbecue again, guys and girls. We've got a great episode for y'all, so make sure you hit the subscription button so future episodes that upload, y'all don't miss out on them. Hey, listen up, guys. Today, we've got some awesome stuff from Six Brothers Beef. We've got a bone-in USDA prime ribeye and some red Argentinian shrimp that we're going to grill up on the Weber kettle, and it's going to be beautiful. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do because you don't want to miss out on future videos. This is going to be awesome. Without holding y'all up too long, let's get to it. It's time to get to work on our bone-in USDA prime ribeye right here that was provided by Six Brothers Beef Company and our red Argentinian shrimp. Uh, man, this is going to be awesome. Also, this combo is known as a uh, surf and turf combo. So let's go ahead and move our steak aside for the time being. And let's get our shrimp prepped and ready, and then we'll get to our ribeye. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I have some already ready Jose Cuervo Margarita mix. This is an awesome flavor on shrimp. I've also done this with Bloody Mary mix. So just like that, kind of eyeball it. Get in here and mix it around. Make sure they all get coated in this nice Jose Cuervo Margarita mix here. Remember with alcohol already involved, so if you're trying to cook with some alcohol, you probably don't need to add any more. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. And today we're going to be seasoning with some seafood seasoning. This is actually from Michael Petrie at Heaven Made Products. He sent me this to try out. It's got a nice flavor to it. A little bit of saltiness, a little spice towards the end, and uh, just some really good um, seafood flavors. It's got a nice celery note to it. So we're just going to go ahead and put a good amount, a generous amount, on our shrimp here. Just like that. Give that a good mix. Smelling good already. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside in the fridge. I'll probably add a little bit more seasoning to it, but I'm gonna set this aside in the fridge and then we'll start prepping our steaks. We got our shrimp put up in the fridge and now it's time to get to work with this beautiful looking USDA Prime bone-in ribeye. Um, I will have Six Brothers beef information down below in the description box. Today we're going to be hitting this steak up with some really good stuff. The Smoke Shake from North Texas Barbecue Addicts. If you're not a member of North Texas Barbecue Addicts, I'll have the link for that down below in the description box as well. It's on Facebook and on Instagram. Make sure you go ahead and give us a follow. Let's go ahead and get this seasoned up. And this has a nice uh, garlic forward flavor to it. And then you get some peppery notes and some salt. And it's got some uh, citrus notes as well. So it's gonna be really good on this USDA prime beef. Just like that, I'm gonna put a decent amount. That's gonna help with our crust. Get a nice char on this steak. So just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for about five minutes and then I'll season the other side and make sure I get the edges as well. Next time I see y'all, we'll get some skewers put together for our shrimp. Let's go ahead and get these shrimp onto our skewers. I recommend using um, you know, metal or steel skewers because uh, you can use the, the wooden ones and I've used them before in a pinch but they do tend to catch fire so I'm going to go ahead and get these put together. You want to go right here through the thick part of the back area there right close to the tail just like that there and slide it down. I'm going to leave some space. I'm going to show you all skewering up one. Look at these shrimp. Six Brothers Beef really does have some awesome stuff and shrimp is one of my favorites of theirs so go ahead and continue the same exact way some of them are a little bigger than the others that's okay though I like to leave my tails on you can take them off if you want um, it really doesn't matter it just kind of looks better for presentation purposes um, if you're trying to impress a food guest or something look at the size of that it's like a baby lobster like my buddy uh, Peter would say Pete over at uh, North Florida Smoke. I'll have his information down below in the description box. He just started a YouTube channel. Make sure you check him out. That's what this skewer is looking like, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the same process to these other three skewers. And then what I'm going to do is just put a nice little light touch-up coating of seasoning on here with that uh, seafood rub from Heaven Made Products. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And I got the Weber kettle out there getting fired up. It's around 350 degrees. These bad boys are gonna wait until the steak's resting because this won't take but about two or three minutes to grill up. So I'll meet y'all at the Weber. All 
All right, addicts, it is time to get this beautiful steak onto the Weber. This is a gorgeous ribeye right here. We're running at about 350 degrees on the offset side, and we've got some hickory wood chips in here. Let's go ahead and get this ribeye onto the grill. Man, that is looking awesome. I'm gonna put the bone side towards the heat here so it can really deflect that uh, that direct heat right there. And we're gonna be trying to maintain a temperature between 300 to 350 degrees on this side of the kettle. I'm gonna check on that in 15 minutes. All right, folks, it's time to check on our steak like we talked about. And I apologize if y'all can hear the uh, lawnmowers in the background, but it's that time of year where everybody is wanting to get their yard mowed right now, so that is what's happening. Let me show y'all what it's looking like at this point. Look at that, guys. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. Completely juicy over here. I do want to check the internal temperature now and see what it's looking like. You can see this bone's really starting to take that heat for us like we wanted. I went ahead and added a few more wood chips over there, the hickory wood. So we are right at about 109, 108 degrees internal on this. So we've got about 10 more degrees to go before it's time to sear this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this bad boy down. This looks awesome, smells great. And uh, that USDA prime fat you can see is really rendering down there. That's that money right there. That's that flavor town right there, guys. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna shut this down. We'll check on it in 10 minutes. All right, gang, let's check the steak. It's been about 10 minutes later. We've got some good smoke trail rolling still. Man, it smells awesome. So, like I said, I'm shooting for about an internal temperature of 120 degrees before I pull this off and let it rest while we get the fire stoked. We are a little high, we're at about 126, so we're good to pull this bad boy off. That's just okay. It's perfectly fine, no worries. It's got some great color on it already. We transfer it over to our board here. I'm gonna pull this bad boy, put it in the kitchen. I'm gonna get this fire right here stoked up. So what that means is I will be uh, opening the basket at the bottom here on the Weber. We're gonna clear our ash out, make sure we have some good airflow. Because next up we have our shrimp. So I'm gonna leave this lid off, let it really catch fire real quick. I just added about a half a handful of hickory wood chips to the Weber kettle. Once that catches fire, gets this grill grate nice and hot. We'll close the lid down and then I'll go grab the shrimp. All right guys, you know what I realized? What I'm gonna do first actually is get this steak suit up. And I was thinking about doing it right over the coals, but I think I'm gonna do something a little bit more entertaining for y'all and for me. So I'm gonna put that steak right back where it was. And if any of y'all used to watch Tim the Toolman Taylor growing up, you know he'd be proud. So we're just gonna go over the outer edges of this steak here. Get a nice char on it. That's smelling awesome. There we go. That side's good. We'll give that a flip. Man, oh man, that's smelling good. That fat's just falling apart. Can't wait to bite into this. Now let's repeat. Check out that crust, guys. This steak is ready to go. I'm gonna pull it off of the Weber kettle, put it onto the cutting board, let it rest while we get our shrimp skewers grilled up. All right, addicts, it is time that we get our shrimp onto the grill. Remember our skewers that we set up earlier? I'm gonna go ahead and place them right over the coals. We're running around 400 degrees right here. Listen to this sizzle. Just like that. Make sure you got some good contact on your shrimp. There we 
go. There we go. Just like that. And I'm going to leave this open while we're drilling. Y'all have seen me use this on the channel before when we made the smoked spam. I'll leave that video in the description box. But this is also Maestro's Sauce Company. And this is the taco sauce. And I think this will go great on this shrimp. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This is smelling awesome. So we're going to do about a minute and a half each side. These are some big shrimp, some red Argentinian shrimp. And I think these flavors are gonna go great together. We have the seafood rub from Heaven Made Products. We've got the margarita, Jose Cuervo margarita mix. And now we're putting some taco sauce on them. Just like that, guys. Smelling beautiful. So I'm gonna finish this up. This will take about two and a half minutes for me to finish these shrimp. And then we'll give it all a try. Y'all stick around. Wow, y'all saw how that steak looked right when it got pulled off, how the shrimp looked. It is smelling awesome. I went ahead and set a few of those skewers to the side and just grabbed me one of them. This is some surf and turf, guys. Before we try this again, I want to remind y'all that we actually basted this shrimp with the uh, Maestro's Sauce Company, and this is the taco sauce, so it smells awesome. This ribeye right here looks awesome. Let's go ahead and cut right down the bone, see what we're looking like. Just like butter, like it should be. Set that aside. And we'll cut right down the middle and get us some strips here. Check that out, guys. That is beautiful. That is a good cook to me any day. Man, it smells amazing. I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit more of that NTBA smoke shake on the steak while it was resting so it could soak up all those juices. I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple of these slices and then I'll turn the camera around and we'll uh, give it a taste test. This smells insane. It's time to give this surf and turf a taste. Remember, we started with a bone-in USDA prime ribeye that came from Six Brothers Beef Company and some red Argentinian shrimp. And uh, I think it turned out beautifully. The plating of it was awesome. I took the thumbnail for all the social medias and whatnot. Let's go ahead and give this steak a try. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Wow, that's so tender. That steak is so juicy. We nailed a perfect medium rare on this steak, anywhere from 125 to 130 internal. I gotta get me another bite of that. That fat just melts in your mouth down the hatch. Mm. That smoke shake goes perfect with this steak. And then we managed to get that awesome sear with that torch that we used towards the end there. Let's go ahead and give this shrimp a try. I think it turned out beautiful as well. Let's dip it in the taco sauce that we were actually basting it with while it was grilling. Mm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any better than that. Surf and turf guys, off the Weber kettle. Y'all saw how easy it was. Use whatever seasoning you want. Man, that taco sauce has a great taste to it. A nice after bite to it. It went perfect on this shrimp with that USDA prime ribeye. Until next time guys, make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know you're here, and uh, until next time, y'all keep on barbecuing.